Hi guys. It's been a pretty long weekend for me with the film festival, but I'm finally home and I wanted to talk to all of you about what's been on my mind. Lately, what's been on my mind has been diet and exercise related, of course. So for the past two weeks, a little over two weeks, I've been eating 80 to 100 percent raw and definitely feel all the benefits. I feel lighter, I feel energetic, um, I get more done, and I just have this overall sense of well-being. I wake up every morning looking forward to the day rather than feeling sluggish and this um, heavy feeling sitting inside of me. I don't have that feeling anymore. And it got me thinking that I want a little bit more. So I'm really considering going to uh, going back to eating one meal a day. And I'd like to do it for 30 days. Um, I might do it at the beginning of July. And hopefully all of you can join me. Don't worry, they're doing fireworks outside. That's what that noise was. Um, but here's another thing. When it comes to exercise, I've not really been the kind of person who enjoys exercising. Who does, really? I mean, it's good. I love the, the benefits of exercise. Yeah, but it's hard for me to get to do it. Get to it. That's what's hard. I don't really, you know, wake up and say, hey, you know what, let's exercise. It's really, it takes a lot of effort on my part to want to work out. Until I started doing this. I thought, you know, the reason people might not like to work out is because it doesn't mean anything to them. Even health. Health may not be enough to make you want to get up and make a change. That's what I thought. I thought, you know what, maybe that's what it is. So I started to dedicate my workouts to something that is meaningful to me. Just to see how I would react, how I would feel. So one day I said, you know what, I'm dedicating my workout to my childhood. And I got up and I ran. Another day... I woke up and I dedicated my workout to my family. Another day I got up and dedicated my workout to those who are in need and who have less than I do. So when you dedicate your workout to something or someone or even to yourself, it adds more meaning to it. And then you'll do it. When there isn't meaning behind what you're doing, you're not going to want to do it. And that's what I thought was the problem with me in exercise. And I have to say, after doing that, I started to look forward to working out. So, hopefully that works for all of you. And um, I was doing a little more thinking about fast food places and their commercials. That's a topic that has been, I'm sure, pummeled into the ground with uh, praise and with criticism and all sorts of things. But I was watching a commercial, and it had to do with a certain brand of potato chip. And uh, in this commercial, there was a song playing that you would sing to someone you love. But it was this woman and her bag of potato chips. And she was eating this, she was eating these chips like they were her lover. Okay? I know that sounds wrong, but it was almost as if she was in love with these chips. And I thought, look at that right there, right there. They are associating right away good love feelings, good emotions with food. Bad food. But you have the power to stop that. You have the power. You still have the power to choose better for yourself. Because food ultimately is a building block for your body, for the cells. And I'm sure you don't want to put garbage in your body. You wouldn't, um, you know, feed your pet garbage. Maybe some of you will. I used to feed my, I used to have a dog 
and I used to feed it uh, everything. But my birds, on the other hand, have a very, very clean diet. Very clean diet. I th and I remember one time I caught myself saying, you know what, no, 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 don't give, don't give him that. He can't eat that. It's not good for him. But I would eat it. Love your pets and take care of your pets, but take care of yourself too. Treat yourself in the same way. Better. So that's my, my little uh, thought for the day. And I will be back tomorrow with some more. I hope you guys all have a great night.